So today we are going to talk about the research of software section. So last time we talked about the research into the actual um, computers and things of that nature that you're looking at, and now you're gonna look at what sort of program you're doing. So it says research a range, so we don't just wanna have like um, Photoshop type programs for image manipulation, we don't just wanna have editing, we also wanna put sound in, we wanna do all of those sorts of things, okay? So with this one, we uh, I would like you to organize it by category, with one A4 page for each category here. So here we've got potential image manipulating software that you could use. So this student's chosen Photoshop, Lightroom, Apple Photos, okay? So there's positives of those, just like your hardware, negatives and an evaluation, all right? So he's also done, um, let's see, let's go down to our next page here. Okay, he's also got video editing software and done uh, Adobe After Effects, Final Cut Pro X or Sony Vegas Pro. So there's positives, there's negatives, and then there's valuation on each one. And then we go over and look at this one. So the same image editing, so a little bit less detail, uh, animation, uh, and she's also gone into sound. So what she's going to do to record her sound with. Um, moving on, we've got uh, just a more generalized one, and I really would like a little bit more detail with these. Um, but it, it works fine. Uh, moving on to this one, same sort of thing. So we can get in there. We've got uh, software for animation as well. So you can see like the good ones here, uh, the ones that have more actual information in here. We like really as much information as possible, but you know, you, you've got your benefits, your drawbacks, and then you have to have your evaluation at the end where you talk about which one you actually ended up using. Nice and easy. Okay, thanks for your time.